All right, in this video, we're gonna be covering how much drain the battery goes through when these guys are put to sleep. Now, I've done some tests, I've left it on overnight, I've done all these things. I'm gonna give you the bottom line straight away, so if you wanna find out and move on with your lives, you're more than welcome. However, if you wanna stay tuned for the details, that's gonna be at the end of this spiel. All right, so overnight, this has LPE, LP DDR3 RAM, it's got 16 gigabytes, and it drained around 50 watts over eight hours. This guy with DDR4 drained, actually, it drained 200 watts, and the i9 also drained around 200, and I've you know, rounded up the figures and figured it kind of out. And what you're gonna be getting is, if you're in pure sleep, if you've got 16 gigabytes of LP DDR3, so if you've got a 15 inch um, i7 from last year with 16 gigabytes RAM, it's gonna take 44 days for you to drain your battery on sleep mode. Over here on the, the i7, I guess it's, it counts for i7 and i9, but basically if you've got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, it's gonna take 12 days, and if you've got 16 gigabytes, it's gonna take you 24 days. However, something you should know is, these laptops don't just use sleep mode, they use something called safe sleep, which is hibernate, and what it does is it copies everything from the RAM onto the hard drive, and it turns off your computer completely. The reason why it uses these two modes is sleep, you just put the laptop back up and it turns back on instantly. With safe sleep, it needs to copy the hard drive contents back into the RAM, and then you have your computer back. Good thing about these computers is they have really fast hard drives, so Hibernate isn't as slow as what it used to be. And the good thing about it anyway is macOS is very intelligent, and what it does is after a few hours, it's, it's, it varies, and it varies on the battery percentages, um, it automatically turns from sleep into safe sleep. So you're going to be getting a heck of a lot more than the figures I quoted of 12 days, 24 days, and 44 days because macOS doesn't just go to sleep, it also goes to safe sleep. So to be honest, I wouldn't worry too much about it, but for drainage-wise, you got the figures. So this guy's at 98%. This guy's at 99%. And this guy's at 100%. Some um, extra notes I want to say. Do I want to say, no, you know what, I'll just show you the full video, show you how I conducted my tests and all that stuff, but in the end, I wouldn't worry too much about the whole sleep stuff because, you know, 12 days, 24 days to get to 0% battery life isn't, you know, isn't going to kill your, your Mac. All right, stay tuned for the rest. Thanks for watching. Arrivederci. Vamos. Oh, oh one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Also, uh, yeah, that's the one more thing I wanted to say. Also, I've been um, doing some more tests, I've left Final Cut on Idor, I've left Final Cut on exporting. Right now, look, check out the figures, it's actually very interesting. So on the 13 inch, you've got 26% battery life remaining. On the 15 inch i7, you've got 46% um, battery life remaining. And on the i9, you've got 61% battery life remaining. So if you are interested in battery life, and I've done a heck of a lot longer testing than I did before in my last half an hour test, this has been down for a few hours. You can see that the draining between these guys is exponential. Like this guy's an extra 15% more battery than this guy. So again, reran the tests and I'm still concluding that the i9 has better battery life than the i7. Please, anyone out there, test it yourselves. I really wanna know, maybe I got a good unit or maybe I got a bad unit here, I don't know. Double check it, but it looks to be true. There's higher, um, there's higher peaks on this guy and it drains a lot more than, than this guy. Even when idling, looks idling right now and it's still draining. All right, thanks for watching. Arrivederci, vamos. Stay tuned for the full summation. Pow! Ready, ready, ready. All right, guys, this is it. Big thanks to your suggestions. We're going to be doing the battery life with the lids closed test. Over here on my left, we have a 2016 13-inch MacBook. This one has LPDDR3 memory. As you can see right now, we've got 4,390 milliamps, okay? 100%. Over here is the i7 2.6, 32 gigabytes of DDR4. It's got 7,458 milliamps. And on my right, final, the final one over here is the i9, and it's got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. It's only got 7,120 milliamps, but everything is on 100%. So all three laptops are at 100%. And what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be leaving these laptops alone for as long as possible. I've been stuck on these laptops for a very long time, and my wife has seriously said, yo, you're going out of the house, it's Saturday night, we're gonna do something. So, my friends, I'm closing the lids first. All three lids are coming down, and we're gonna be unplugging them. These two are gonna get unplugged first, and this one's gonna be unplugged. Right now, they're gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna leave them alone, alone. I'm gonna leave them alone, as long as possible. And we're gonna be coming back, and trying to solve the mystery of how much battery life is gonna get lost when these guys are sleeping. 
Officially, this one should be very good. This one has been rumored, these two, because of DDR4, these guys apparently lose 8% overnight. We're gonna debunk that or rebunk it. Anyway, yalla, let's go! Party! Yeah, chess club, right? Yeah, chess club. Which one do you think is gonna win? I think the 2016 MacBook's gonna win. Why? I'm sorry, I'm saying it right there. Because old is always gold. You know what they say about the iPhones, the MacBooks? The old stuff is always better than new stuff. So that's my five dollars. Bet? All right, it's only been two hours, but two hours is good, two hours on a dot. So I'm just gonna have a quick peek and see what's going on. Don't worry, I'm still gonna leave it overnight, but I just wanna see has anything changed. So let's first, let's do the, the 13 incher. And. All right, it's gone down to 94.9% and it's 4226. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Okay. All right, wasn't expecting this one to lose that much. Now we're gonna go into the i7, 2.6, 32 gigabytes DDR4 RAM. And this is 100%, it's gone down to 97 and it's 7359. So that's lost around 100. And now the i9, that was 7100. So let's see, that one's still 7181 and it's still 100%, or 7174. All right. We're gonna have to leave it longer to get some results because maybe that was uh, some discrepancy. So gonna head to the gym now, gonna get changed. Head to the gym, give it another few hours and then um, leave it on overnight and let you know how the, the story folds. All right. Mm. Okay, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised by that because mm. I wasn't expecting a difference between the i7 2.6 and the i9. Mm. And I was expecting the 2016 13 inch to have the best battery life because that's LP DDR3. Yeah. So, like, so so far, the 13 inch has lost 150 milliamps. Yeah. The, the i7 2.6 with DDR4 RAM has lost 95. And the i9, exact same memory configuration, has yeah. lost 60. That's really bizarre. Yeah. It's really bizarre. Gonna have to get, give it more time. Yeah. All right. So, it's been another two hours. First, let's check on the 13 inch. Last time we saw it at 4226. Now it is coming up. 4204. All right, 4204. So it's only lost 20, 22, something like that, about 20. Okay, the i5, sorry, the 15 inch was 7359. So it's lost another 70. And this guy, this one was at 7120. Two hours later, it is 7274. So, so that one's gone up. <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> Maybe this battery is stabilizing. It did start off less than the other guy. So um, I'm going to leave it for another, I'm going to go to sleep now, probably six hours. And hopefully then we'll have some sort of conclusive results because the first four hours of the i9 has been <laughs> mental. All right, guys, let's check back in the morning. For now, it's time to get these guns to sleep. All right, it's been eight hours, eight whole hours since we last saw the battery stuff. So now let's see what's happening. All right, I've left it alone for a minute, so I'm gonna see what the battery readings are now. So it's on this guy, it is 4168. On this guy, it is 708685. And on this guy, it is 7078. So this guy's at 98%. This guy's at 99% and this guy's at 100%. So it looks like the 15 inches have lost 200 milliamps in the last eight hours and the 13 incher has only lost 
40. One last thing, if you go into energy saver inside system preferences, just make sure that you put your hard drives to sleep when possible, dim the display while well, that's when you're using it and disable power nap if that's enabled and that will get you a longer battery life when your computer's gone to sleep or safe sleep. That was uh, fun, isn't it?